and it's that time where we get to find out the right pronunciation of words in English language. And we're now joined by Willis the Wordmaster on Twitter. He can be found on at Willis Ochiang1. Willis, thank you so much for joining us. Um, how has your week been? Joy, the week has been a wonderful one for me because almost all that I had intended to do, in fact, became a success. Mm -hmm. Well, let's begin yes. our segment this moment and take a look at the word on the street. This one was uh, a little bit difficult for people to pronounce, but just take a look. Hebitom. 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 Bizarre. 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 Hey! Bizarre. 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 Well, Willis, what do I say? Bizarre, <laughs> epitome. Now, that, that is where you come in and give well, us the right pronunciation for those words because I really don't want to sound like that was funny, but it was funny for people to say bizarre. Joy, what we must admit is that the two words are tricky. In the first place, we say epitome or epitome, mm -hmm. not epitome, epitome, and all that. This reminds me of the word hyperbole. Most people say hyperbole, mm -hmm. but the correct pronunciation of that word is hyperbole. So, the first word on the street is epitome or mm -hmm. epitome. The second one is bizarre. Bizarre. A bizarre incident. Not bizarre, binzari, and all that. Bizarre. <laughs> It's bizarre and epitome, or epitome. Yes. yes. All right. Let's now take a look at uh, some other words. Uh, there are words that uh, are pronounced a little bit funny, and one of those words is, is it hysteria, hysteria? You say hysteria, hysteria, not teria, hysteria. Just like we say criteria, not mm. criteria, no, criteria. Mm -hmm. Criteria, not criteria. Some mm. even say criteria, which is wrong. So, hysteria, criteria. And then there is another one here. Some people tend to say precarious. Some tend to say precarious. Some say precarious. What is the right pronunciation? The word is actually pronounced as precarious. Precarious. Mm -hmm. Carious, not carious. Precarious. Precarious. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And now we'll now move on to yet another interesting one that I'm sure people... Is it laureate? Is it laureate? Is it... What exactly is that word that people tend to pronounce when they are talking about Nobel Peace Prize winners? We usually find a problem with some of us uh, saying lao, lao. But that A and U in the first syllable, joy, takes the sound O. So you say lo, laureate, no. uh -huh. laureate, not laureate. Laureate, just like launch, Laureate. not lounge, mm -hmm. launch, mm -hmm. yes. All right, so it's Laureate. Laureate. 
All right. And uh, of course, there's that other word that I'm sure everybody uses. Every time they are talking about the National Assembly, uh, they always tend to mispronounce this word uh, because, uh, because of the way maybe it's written. And uh, someone called Ronnie Karanja in Nairobi is asking how you pronounce, uh, is it parliament, is it parliament, is it uh, parliament? What exactly is uh, that pronunciation, <laughs> Willis? Joy, you've talked of what we see and sometimes uh, misleads some of us into mispronouncing a certain English word. Mm -hmm. You are reminding me about one man called Michael Opere of Mbale. He was also asking me, do we say renders vos, renders vas, or what? But I know Michael Opere knows now that we say rendezvous or rendezvous, not yes. rendez vas, rendez vos. So mm -hmm. the word in question in this case is parliament, not parliament. Lia, no. That I is silent. Parliament. And we also say honorable, not honorable. Honorable, yes. not honorable. honorable. All right, so it's yes. parliament, and there's no acceptable word like parliament. <laughs> Palia, no. You just say la, lament, parliament. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, yes. you always have a surprise word for us, and I cannot read your mind. What is that surprise word you have for us today? <laughs> Joy, uh, the way you put it. And you know one thing, your English or your good command of English really yes. impresses me whenever I talk to you. Uh, now, thank the you. surprise word for tonight, Joy, is what many people pronounce as confront. Confront. Mm -hmm. We don't have front. That letter O takes the mid central vowel sound a. Uh, confront to confront just like in the word front mm -hmm. we also say in front and also a front a front that crime a front not a front mm -hmm. so that one we should always be aware of that and in most cases i know many people would wonder confront but that is the correct pronunciation joy confront not confront not in front, it's in front. All right, Joy, Willis. maybe if you are getting me, if yes. you are getting me, we have a small problem of communication. Mm -hmm. I think it was a bit of a technical problem, but uh, Joy, we have here two words. We have core, core, that is mm -hmm. the one above or the upper one, core diplomatic corps but some people say diplomatic corps which is wrong diplomatic corps not mm. corps corps is a dead body that is when we are talking about the word which is below so there we say corps and mm. for those who say diplomatic corps uh it may be a bit you know interesting because i don't think we have a body or a dead body that is diplomatic so the one we mistake to be diplomatic corps yes. is core. That is the upper one. Core. Core. So is, that is enough for me for tonight, Joy. Wow, Willis, I, I can say I'm always educated by uh, your lessons here on Mind Your Language. Thank you so much, and I wish you a very fantastic weekend. Thanks a lot, Willis. All right, and that is Willis the Wordmaster. You can find him on Twitter in case you have any other questions in regard to pronunciation of words. It's at Ocheng1, at Willis Ocheng1, and he'll be very willing to answer all those questions that you have.